On April 12th, 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first man to ever go in space. And that started the race to go and explore the space. And on December 19th, 1972, Eugene Cernan took the last step on moon, thus ending this race. Why haven't we gone back to the moon again? With today's technology and knowledge, it is far safer and cheaper to go back to the moon than it was in 1972. Well, to answer that, we should first look at why we went to the moon in the first place. After the Second World War ended on September 2nd, 1945, the United States and the Soviet Union became embroiled in the arms race. Both sides wanted greater military power than the other and that arms race eventually culminated in the development of rockets that were capable of striking enemy territory across the world and this race extended its limit to the space. The Soviet Union sent Yuri Gagarin into space and his flight lasted for 108 minutes outside the Earth's atmosphere. This made space a place to demonstrate your military strength and the US government had to show that they are better than the Soviet Union. So their rockets had to be faster and should travel farther than the Soviet Union's rocket. And in the year 1966, NASA received its highest budget of $5.93 billion. And on July 16th, 1969, Apollo 11 left Earth with Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. And on July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first man to ever step foot on the moon and said the famous words. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb footprints are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. I'm going to step off the lamb now. And after Apollo 11, several other men stepped on the surface of the moon and a list of all the men who stepped on the moon is at the end of this video. War started this race to space for countries to show their strength to the rest of the world. War took us to space and as we forgot the war, we lost the reason to go back to the moon again. And the government simply stopped investing in space exploration. And the space race slowed down. And the crew of Apollo 17 became the last people to step on the surface of the moon. As I step off at the surface at Taurus Littrow, we'd like to dedicate the first step of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. I was strolling on the moon one day in a merry, merry month of December. Oh, May, 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 to May, that's right. Eugene Cernan, as he stepped back to the module, said the last words spoken by a man on the surface of the moon. As I take my last step from the surface back home, for some time to come, but we believe not too long in the future. I'd like to just let what I believe history will record that America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow. And as we leave the moon and Taurus Littrell, we leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. With peace and hope for all mankind.